Hello and assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to US EFPL's short videos part of our free online GRE course. These videos will help you prepare for GRE, which is essential to graduate level admissions in most universities in the United States and for the Fulbright Scholarship Program. I'm Amna Mahmood and I've been affiliated with US EFP in various capacities since 2017. This session will be for GRE Verbal and this is video number 6 of 12 in this series. To quickly refresh what we learned about the structure of sentence equivalence question types in video 5, sentence equivalence questions consist of a single sentence. They have one blank and you have six answer choices from which you have to select two. There's a single correct answer that consists of you getting each of the selected two choices correct. There's no credit for partially correct answer. In this video, we will look at three examples. So grab a piece of paper and a pen and let's go through the questions together. The first example reads, Lady Astor once commented to Winston Churchill, if I were married to you, I'd put poison in your coffee. Churchill's famous blank, Nancy, if you were my wife, I'd drink it. Before we look at the answer options, let's try to apply the strategy that we learned in video 5. Since we do not have any clue words in this passage, let's try to think of a word that fits in the blank. Churchill replies to Lady Aston's comment, and he seems to have a sense of humor. So what we are looking for here is a word that means an entertaining or a funny response. Let's look at the answer choices now. So we have anecdote, aphorism, retort, recrimination, rejoinder, and maxim. Any guesses? Why don't you take a few seconds to write down your answer? Okay, let's make it easier for you. Let's look at the meaning of the difficult words in the answer options. An anecdote means a short, amusing, and interesting story. Also, you will notice that I've added synonyms as well for each meaning that we discuss in this video. This was for you to build your vocabulary. In the interest of time, I will only focus on the meanings and those synonyms that assist in answering the question. And you can replay this video again if you're interested in looking at the synonyms as well. Aphorism means a short observation which contains a general truth or a proverb. And if you notice in the synonyms, we have maxim, which is another answer option. So we have a pair of words that are similar and we may be tempted to think that this is the correct answer. But let's wait and go through the remaining options. Retort means a sharp, angry or a witty reply. This word is close to what we're thinking should fit in the blank. But let's see if there is another word similar to this word that when put in the blank gives us sentences that mean the same thing. Recrimination means accusation and this doesn't seem relevant here. Rejoinder means a sharp or a witty reply. And when we look at the synonyms, we see the word retort. So we know we now have a second pair of words that have similar meaning. And this pair, unlike the first pair, seems to more accurately match what we were thinking should fit in the blank. Maxim is similar to aphorism and means a short statement expressing the general truth. Okay, now that we know the meanings, what do you think is the correct pair of answer choices? Feel free to update the select, uh, selected answer options. The correct answer is retort and rejoinder. I hope most of you got it right the second time. Let's look at example number two. Forgiveness was fine in theory, but she had trouble in accepting a religion that would allow blank evil doers access to heaven. We've previously learned that the word but signifies a contradiction in the sentence. That is, 
we should expect a part of the sentence to go against another part. From the passage, we conclude that although she was in favor of forgiveness, but she still thought that evil dwells should go to hell. And we have to look for two words that describe these evil doers such that when we put when they are put back in the blank, they create two sentences that mean the same thing. Let's look at the answer choices now. So we have repentant, contrite, blatant, venial, pardon, and recalcitrant. Take a couple of seconds to lock in your answer choices. Okay, so let's also look at the meaning of the words in the question. Repentant means feeling sincere regret. And when we look at the synonym list, we notice that contrite has similar meaning. So I'm going to skip contrite because it has the same meaning as repentant. So, I'll, so now I have my first pair of synonyms, but I also want to look at the remaining words to make sure I select the correct answer choices. Blatant means bad behavior, which is done openly. Venial means a small fault that can be easily forgiven. The sentence talks about evildoers, so this word seems too mild. Pardon means forgive. Although this word fits into the overall theme of the sentence, it doesn't really fit into the blank. Recalcitrant means uncooperative attitude towards discipline. And although we would want the evildoers who have who have been disobedient to go to hell, we do not have another word that when put in the blank would give us a sentence with a similar meaning. So what's the final answer? It's repentant and contrite. And this is the only pair of similar words in the list of answer choices. Let's look at the final example. The question reads, the cult members treated their leader with blank loyalty that worked on the obsessive and made them willing, should the need ever arise, to do as much as lay down their lives for him. The loyalty of the cult members worked on the obsessive and thus was extremely intense. We're looking for words similar in meaning to extreme or die hard. Let's look at the answer options. So we have a fanatical, an arbitrary, a fickle, a mortifying, a zealous, and indeterminate. Let's quickly go over the meaning of the words in the answer list. Fanatical means obsessively concerned about something. So this is close to the word that we have guessed should fit in the blank. Arbitrary means based on a random choice. Fickle means changing one's loyalties or affections frequently. Mortifying means embarrassment. Zealous means showing great enthusiasm in pursuit of an, uh, in pursuit of an objective. Indeterminate means not exactly known, established, or defined. The loyalty of the cult members worked on the obsessive and thus was extremely intense. So if we have to look for words similar in meaning to extreme, fanatical, and zealous are the words that best fit here. I hope this session proved to be useful for you. Please remember to check out other videos in this series. To wrap up, I'm going to conclude this video with a list of words we learned during the session.